Right now we're going to start doing it. Okay, that little black, just like we did to the base, and it's going to go right off the canvas. And then we'll follow that on here. Another branch that goes right off the canvas. A little more black, a little more chocolate, melted chocolate, and oh yeah, that looks nice. You know, I think we'll just make like a tree or whatever, and I think I'll finish, I'll do like the top or something. Because this is looking pretty interesting. We'll just finish the top like that. We'll say the whole tree just goes right off. Just like that. I think I got it too dark. We'll lighten it up a bit. Just more chocolate. We can make this a fat tree. Since it's going to be like the dominant thing in this picture. We'll make it just a little more fat at all. Simple. Go right off the edge. He's doing that quite a bit. So we'll do that too. There we go. We'll get more chocolate. We really want this to stick out as dark brownish chocolatey, barky looking stuff. This brush is nice. More brown. There we go. Okay, and then we'll just blend, blend everything together so it's the same universe, homogenous, whatever, color. Big. This is a magnificent tree. Right of brown. So, there she blows. That's as big as the tree is going to get. Do a little more black, I guess. Get rid of that white that snuck its way in there. But that's fine. White is in every color known to man, I think. So, it's not going to hurt this painting because the painting is just practice. For fun. For finding Make a little bit of mixture here. Alright. Follow it through and and straight off the canvas. And then we'll follow it back through the base. And straight off the canvas. Just so it's all the same sort of look to it. And blend it together so the stems look like they're coming out of this mammoth tree right here. You notice it's kind of gray. It'll be like one of them uh, types of trees that are gray. Because I can't think of a name right now. Anyways. Let's rinsey do just a little bit. The light's starting to break. You know, it's fine. We'll say there's a blizzard. Yeah, a blizzard in this nice big fat tree right here. But then we can't do a light thing. But, you know, maybe there's sunshine peeking through the the old, uh, blizzard. So. Beat the devil out of it. Hee hee hee. Not really. But we'll just do that. Okay. Now. The light. We'll, we'll say it's coming from, uh, this direction. Which means we're gonna, we're gonna, or we'll say the sun's rising in the west, and which is different, but that's where our light's going to come from. Um, so, 
so we're going to do the color of reflection or whatever underneath and make it darker over here, darker over here, darker over here. So the light's going to be here, 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 and then it'll be just like right here on the curvature of it, so to speak. So let's, let's use this thing and see if this here method works. Um, for this, what color should the light be? Well, let's do a little bit of, um, let's do, what can I put that on? Some blendish. Let's use some paper. I'm just gonna fold a bunch of paper. Easy throw away. If you got big old sheets of paper, you always got time to blend. Okay, what we're gonna do is we are gonna take some of this, uh, do I say red? Let's do dark red. It's like autumn or whatever. And we'll take some, let's do some dark blue with like aqua or whatever. And that should give us a nice, interesting color. Like a dark... Like a dark magenta, not a magenta, but a maroonish, brownish color. That looks nice. That looks like a dark color. Not what I was going for. I wasn't going for dark, but you know what we can do now? We can brighten it up with this white here and make it as light as we want. There we go. That that looks more like something you would have done uh, with it. Much better. It's more. It is more like a purpleiness, but uh, that's that's okay. We're going for it. Blend it up with a brush. That's what we're looking at right now. That's gonna be our sun color. And you know, if you want, you can add a little yellow. That'll brighten it up a bit too. But we don't want it to be too crazy. I think we got like our a purple here. We used the blue and the maroon, the darks, and then a little bit of the white, and we got ourselves a purple. Which is what he always uses for cold, anyways, as cold colors, so hold hold it up and if it looks like it'll look right but I don't like how that's looking so let's add let's clean this off just a little bit so we don't mess our colors up let's add just a tiny bit of yellow I want to brighten it up more so let's do a little bit of yellow let's see what that does just to purple I don't know what that'll do but we'll see got about a minute about a minute and a half before we're going to have to cut this video short and add it to the next one. Ooh, that works. Oh yeah, that brightened it just a little, uh, a tiny, sh a little tiny bit brighter with just that little bit of yellow to this purpley lavender, I'd say, color. So let's, let us see now. Let's use this. Let's scrape all this painting out of our brush. We got about 50 seconds to get, just scrape it onto it, cut across, he says, get a roll of paint on the end of a knife, and we'll just, well, how should we do this? We'll brush it down the canvas like so. This looks terrible. I can be honest, it looks terrible. 20 seconds. And it's very loud. We will figure this out. Next part. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna get more. And we're gonna... 
just keep sliding down this, making reflection or light, which does not look like light to me. It looks like shit. But you know what? First attempts are always bad, right? this you know why because it kind of reminds me of like a palm tree which would not be anywhere snow is but you know it is still pretty cool i'm i'm, I'm liking the scrapage look to it oh that looks nice actually it's actually looking better the more you do it randomly like this because it looks like twisted bark you know of an like a palm tree or something i like that just make crisscrosses and like stuff like that and all the colors will blend together and look homogenous and like nature. Make little scrapings in it. I like it. Bark is being birthed, people. Save a little for the branches. So we got all this off. I don't want a bunch of extra. Just enough to make it look like it's all the same. Now, we're going to take our brush. Now we've done the biggest part. We're going to take the brush. Get all the extra off. And take what little bit's left. To do, remember, we'll do the underside. But you know what? I'm going to brighten this up just a little bit more. So we have a little more paint to work with here. We'll add a little more yellow, why not? There we go, that's a little bit brighter. We'll add a little more maroon, why not? A little bit more blue, why not? Just brighten it up a little bit. You know? A little bit more white. Working until we get a color we like. This is more of a bluish color, I guess. So we'll darken it with a little red. This would be like a shadow underneath, I guess. We're not gonna do light. Since we didn't get light, we're gonna go with dark. The light has completely changed this time, and it'll come from this side. Dark, light. Light, light, light. That's how we'll do it. I think I'll just use white instead of trying to color it with different shades, because that's what we got now. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna continue to do, well, we can add a little black to it, maybe that'll help. Yep, that'll do. Oh, that darkened it nicely. Uh, a little more blue, a little more dark red. Oh yeah, there we go, we're getting the color back. That's darker. That's nice. Alright. Let's just gently dot it in there. Because we got a coat that's probably close to dry, but it's not quite. So don't go more than halfway up the branch though. We're just blending it. Blacks, what it's doing, so we'll go there. Mix it with what you already had, so you stay consistent. You don't want one color to look like it doesn't belong in the painting. So we'll go back over it just to make sure it's all the same. And then we'll 
on the side. just to carry through. So these all match. We'll go through this one just one more time. So it's got all the same color. And this, in essence of staying the same, we're gonna go over just a little bit of this. Just to see if the brush does it better than that. Make sure that those blend so that it all looks like it's the same thing. curve it in a bit, so it looks like the tree's bending. Alright, there we go. Let's rinse these, and we'll do, we'll do the brightness now. We'll do the white. With, um, I don't know what with, but we'll do the white next. Just, we'll, we'll say it's snow. Snow instead of light. We'll do snow instead of light. That's This, I think, we can do for this. Alright. Let's flip our paper towel down here that's keeping stuff not paint covered and everything. Okay, well, let's see here, um, let's do a little bit of, um, let's put a little bit of blue, and we'll take this and pull it back over this way so we got a new mixed pad. And we've got about two minutes after I get this on here. Let's turn our paint here so we can work with it easier. Okay. Uh, the snow color. We'll do white, obviously. Let's get a lot of white. With a little bit of that bark color that's been used to mix in there. And we'll use a little bit of a light blue. That'll look nice. This is aqua, I think. And that look cold? Like winter. It's almost like a sky minty bluish cloud blue almost. Um, so we'll brighten it up a bit more. You know, like a little more white. There we go. That's a snowy, like a, a cartoony snow looking color. Anyways. Squish it down, scrape it all, make sure it's one sort of homogenous. You want a little bit of streaking going in there, so we'll add just a, a little bit more of this blue and white. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can get this right in the next 50 seconds, because that's how much time we got it before we stop this next chunk of video. Alright. Now we're going to go this way, so switch to your left hand if you're epidextrous or whatever, and we'll see what it looks like. It's not taking what it wants. Bob Ross, you lied to me. Actually, that doesn't look terrible. So let's scrape up a little more. Oh, that is nice. Kind of. It's not as simple because it's not a canvas, so it's it, you gotta be really tough with it. I'm not liking my left hand here. Driving me nuts. I wasn't paying, I wasn't paying attention, so... Just so we're clear, I was doing this 
and then I, I got too carried away, so I, I didn't see when it stopped recording, so we're going to pick up again right about where I think it left off, which is right here. Don't worry, I'll edit this out so you don't have to worry if it's in the right spot or not. Um, but this isn't terrible. The snow, whatever. Blue. You know what? This just isn't doing it for me. I think that you can only use putty knives and stuff on canvases, so we're just gonna use brush. No big deal. No big deal! Alright. Um, yeah. It's just more easy to use a brush against the dark and whatever, so there we go. Don't worry, it looks like I'm rushing it. I am. <laughs> Curving it in. A little more of the blue. A little more of the blue. And a little bit of the white. Let's just mix them on this and see what happens. This looks terrible, but you know what? Honesty is the best policy. Still practicing. Different angles. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. As long as it's consistent, it doesn't matter. Try something else. Okay. Let's do grass. Let's bend this down. I don't know if you can see the bottom. But, uh... I mean, it looks like a tree. If someone saw that, they were like, Hmm, that's a shitty tree. But it's a tree nonetheless. Um, you're darn right. So, uh, let's do it. Let's do... Ooh, a bunch of grass stuff. Um, we'll do... Just normal green. Again, we will just bend this so we have a new canvas, sort of. And it's okay, you don't need to clean your brush out. This is terrible painting already, anyways. So just keep it. Just get a lot of green. We got a little bit of. What is green doing in the winter? Well, it's surviving, that's what it's doing. We'll take a little bit of the yellow. And we'll see what we can do with this green make different shades. Ooh, that's a nice green. And then we'll take some some red and we'll try on the other side of it. And what I mean is that we're using multiple techniques with different green and different colors. And then we'll flip it, and then we'll flip it, flip it, flip it. Do some green. Let's say there's a hill. Where is it? Well, relative to the tree. It's right there. There's the hill. We'll say it goes behind the tree and runs off the canvas. basic shape in, you can take a put. I'll just go for more green. There, that looks brighter. Oh. That's a nice 
fissato We'll make it more fine and detailed but... What? What say? Dun 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 A rock lives Like right here We'll make sort of a grayish color With all this mess Let's work with it, you know? Let's get a little black, a little bit of blue A little bit of light blue We'll make a, a grayish color If we can Which is the darkish looking color and it'll be a cold rock color, so it has to be a, a little bit of cool color to it. Like a lighter, like a gray. That looks about right. We'll say it looks right here, jettisoning in the middle right here. Just a rock. Sort of like, like this, and then we'll have a little bit of black. The darkness is coming from this side, so we'll, we'll add a little darkness underneath it on this side. Brightness and darkness, or something like this. It's a rock that's living right there. It's terrible, but it's, it's there. And then we'll just take that off. Go back to our green. We'll add a little bit of this apple light green and we'll brighten this up a bit. Oh, that looks nice. Like the sun's trying to peek through just a little bit. Like spring's trying to hold on. Or summer's trying to hold on to fall and winter and all that stuff or whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I like that little bit of yellow. Or like the lighter green in there. That looks nice. Let's go behind the rock. So we can blend it into the painting. That looks nice. Just picking up a bunch of colors. And blending them together. The base is pretty much white. Well, white. <laughs> It's not dry. We got about two minutes. There, that rock sort of blended in there. A little bit of grass in there. You know what? Let us make a quick little uh, thing. A thing. Let's do a plant. Let's do uh, a few little pieces of grass or something. That looks nice. What do we got? We got about less than two minutes. Do a little more yellow. I like the colors that it did there, so let's let's do another one like that. And let's add a little green to a little bit of yellow. Make it a nice brightish greenish sort of to stick around the gray what do we got about a minute all right let's do it let's make them stick out this oh there we go oh that's nice green that's nice it's got the perfect shades I like that that's neat. And we'll do one more. Why not? We've got about 40 seconds. Let's do one more. Quick, quick, quick. Like this. We're doing it in three shoots here. Use a little more yellow. Quick, quick, quick. What do we got? 30 seconds. We can do that. Before minutes. Connected part. We got about 20 seconds. Awesome. Not really. Use more yellow. There we go. That looks like crap. <laughs> well, let's see. We'll fix it in the next part. Maybe. And welcome back to Terrible Painting with Johnny Fix. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's try something else. Let's go back to finishing the dang hill. 
Um, with green. This is all gonna just be green on top of white. said you could use a rolling pin for all it matters because we're gonna cover it up with anything we want anyways. We're just going for a basic green overall color. Blend that bottom so the white's not showing no more. those all. That's the three colors we're using. Yellow, dark, yeah, dark green, and lighter green. I'm thinking that a tree... No, not a tree. What is this? A, a hole in the tree would make that tree look a little more like a tree, like a knot. Or a hole where maybe a squirrel lives. Who knows? It'll be right... Right around where it bends. In the dark and the light. So we'll just do like this. There we go. the whole mm, unevenness. Black, more black, I guess. Try and get this all. Looks like a disorganized hole. In the tree. This is so bad. I feel like I'm in stinking kindergarten. Anyways. We'll say a whole family of squirrels lives here. Maybe a deer hopped up there and it was like, Hey, I like this hole. It's big. But we gotta make it bigger so we can fit the dough in there. We can talk about money. Is being a complete idiot. But I'm bored. Okay, let's add a little blue. Why not? It already looks terrible. On the light side. Make light in the entrance. They gotta see the hole or they can't get in there. Stay warm. That's not terrible. Lots of extra paint, though. Alright. What are we gonna do with this extra paint? Let's touch up this lightness or brightness or whatever. I don't know. We'll just rub this stuff out here. Alright, let's make a beautiful sunshine in the back. No. Yes. Yes, let's do a sun. Because nothing else in this painting makes sense. So let's line it up a little bit. Let's do some orange. Yes, orange, and uh, we'll create that 
light. Orange is sunshine. Right off the canvas. And we'll use a little red. We'll create our sunset look color. Ooh, that's a nice burning sunset color. We're gonna make the hill and the sky meet the sunset. So we're gonna put all the same colors together and then when it blends it'll all look the same. So let's just bring that all the way down in there. We want it to not know where one begins and the other ends. So we'll just blend it upward. And we're ready to blend it perfectly. Shut up, fish. There we go. Get a hair in there, just scrape it out, and continue. A blend. You know, here, let's say a cloud's alive somewhere in here. Let's go with different blues. Let's see what we get when we mix this nice bright blue with this blue. But remember, it's a sunset, so we'll add a little bit of this red to it. Just a tiny bit. And a little bit of, we'll say yellow. Because yellow's in the sun too, right? We're seeing the clouds over here with a little bit of the sun. It's dark though. So we're going to keep just a little bit of that sun rise in there or whatever. And what do we got? We got about 90 seconds. I think we can almost finish this painting up in this paint video. We'll do a little dark red. Why not? Different cumulonimbus and all that and whatnot. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. This terrible painting is almost a compilation. Let's say it bled on into this. A little more clouds. Ta-da! It's terrible. <laughs> we are so just done with this painting. We'll call it. We'll call it quits. Let's sign it. JM at the bottom. <sighs> Fail. Look at how terrible it is. It's hideous. You know, we got 20 seconds. Let's fix it. Yellow bush. A bush. A fall bush. Just a little bush. Oh, we got eight seconds. We'll scrape some branches in there. Ta-da! <laughs> Done.